Alright, what's up with the YouTube? It's your boy Kang Hitter. Back in the building with another video, man. Uh, this morning we're going to do the news once again. I told you I was going to come with an update on that uh, Maine uh, tragedy that, that happened up there in Maine. Um, it looked like suspect been caught. Suspect has been caught. What's up with the YouTube? It's your boy Kang Hitter back in the building with another video. Uh, this morning we're gonna do the news. Uh, look like your boy up there in Maine. Uh, the cause of all the uh, horror that's up in Maine right now uh, with the tragedy that went down. Look like he's been um, found and found deceased. Okay, well, we got a few news clips to look at. You know, I ain't gonna hold you long. We'll get right into it. Let's get on with the first one. Let's go. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Share this video. Hit the notification bell. Do all that. Get at me, man. Let's go with it. Fox News has now confirmed that the suspect in the main mass shooting, Robert Card, has been found dead. We're going to have a lot more on this later in the show. But before we get back to it, let me give you a few of the details. They're a little sketchy at this time. All 18 victims have now been identified by authorities. The shelter-in-place order, as everyone knows, has been lifted. Um, among them was a married couple in their 70s, a father and his 14-year-old son, four adults associated with the Maine Educational Center for the Deaf. A gun, no cell phone belonging to the suspect found earlier today by the police. Divers sonar equipment searched the river near where the suspect's uh, car was found abandoned Wednesday night, near where apparently he had a boat. And a press conference now will be held um, I guess sometime early tomorrow morning and going forward. Anyway, police, uh, to their credit, working through the many, many hundreds of tips from people around them. But let me repeat, the suspect in this main shooting has now been confirmed as dead. Um, we'll have more details to follow throughout the night. But like I say, man, it's a tragic situation. It really breaks my heart that those families will never get to face this guy in court. They won't get the answers that they deserve. You understand what I'm saying? The dude deserved to, to rot behind bars. You understand what I'm saying? But he took the cowards for you. Right? We all know how they do. You know what I'm saying? Most, most times they take the cowards for you. Because they cowards. You know what I'm saying? But hey, let's get on with the next clip. Let's go. And hunt over in Maine. The suspect behind the mass shooting found dead near a river. Authorities just wrapped up a press conference. CBS 2's Jermont Terry is live in our newsroom to tell us more about what they said. Jermont? Marie, after 48 hours, people living in Maine can finally breathe a little easier and even step outside of their homes. Investigators confirmed the suspected gunman, Robert Card, is dead, found in a wooded area. Police say Card shot himself. How soon after the rampage? Investigators have not said. But his body was found not far from where authorities found his abandoned vehicle along the river. Card is accused of killing 18 and injuring 13 others when he walked into a bowling alley and opened fire, injuring children, then driving four miles down to a restaurant and shooting even more people. There's been an all-out manhunt to find him. Residents in and near Lewiston, Maine, have been sheltering in place for their own safety. Yet tonight, the breaking developments, the man who investigators say caused so much pain to dozens of family members and left others living in fear is dead. Take a listen as authorities describe what it means to not worry about his whereabouts tonight. Tonight, the city of Lewis. Hey, before they even get started, man, listen, if dude was real about it, man, dude could have went out in a blaze of glory. But he's a coward. Like I said in my last video, man, hey, if they was in the great state of Texas, this this is what they went down with as many casualties. We had an in, uh, incident up in Dallas. I believe one man got got hit, and that was it. Ain't no 18. You can't get to that many people without being confronted with somebody that can actually uh, match force with force. You understand what I'm saying? So, this is a tragedy, man. Like I said, my heart go out to all the victims in this situation. I hate that they won't uh, get a chance to face, to, uh, face the, uh, the uh, villain in court. 
Uh, but it is what it is, man. Good cows where you at. He up out of here, man. Let's go. And the state of Maine begin to move forward on what will be a long and difficult road to healing. But we will heal. We wanted to talk to the victims' families. We wanted to say, this is coming. It's important that they heard that information as close to first as anybody else. And you know who else we called uh, was the family of the suspect. And uh, they lost a loved one in this scenario. Um, and there were many of that family that was very cooperative with us throughout. I'm breathing a sigh of relief. And while the manhunt is over, the one question still looming tonight is why? What led this person to go on this horrific rampage? And why did he choose those two places where he carried out this massacre? Investigators did not say that tonight, but, have, but they had previously said that they, I should say, investigators did not say that they had previously searched the area where they found his body. All of these are questions they're still looking into, and police expect to have another press conference tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Eastern time. But tonight, that community can begin to mourn properly. Live in the newsroom with this breaking news, Marie, back to you. Thank you so much, Jamon Terry, in our newsroom with that update. What that boy's name is? Jamon Terry? God damn. They messed him up right there, Jamon Terry. Dang. But anyway, like I said, man, um, I couldn't believe that he got away the first time, you know, it been been missed for 48 hours, but hey, somehow, some way, they got him. He up out of here. He done. I just hate, hate he took 18 people with him. That's a tragedy. Hey, everybody out there, man, protect yourself. Once again, it's your boy Kang Hitter. Bill McKee, the one bringing the time. I don't know what you doing. Get at your boy. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. See you next time. I'm out.